Oh, she's yeah. got it like an apron. You talking like that Zewa like Salduni? Yeah, Zewa Salduni. She's like an alien that'll cook for you. Mm, it's beautiful. Okay. Whoa, mom. Um, okay, we, we were getting on a, a plane with uh, Zoe Salduni. We did. She was pregnant. She's. Hey, she subsequently got had a baby. She was just in front of us. She was getting, in front of us, and she got into first on class, and we kept going and got in coach. Um, but we got to walk past her yeah, because of did. that. Yeah, we did, and she was I not walked, blue. I walked or on. green. Uh, so anyway, uh, thanks to those of you who are joining right now. You're joining the Good Mythical Open Morning Open up Book a tab. Club. Uh, remember, you can go to audible.com slash GMM. You can get the book. You can listen to it, and then we're going to talk about it on a subsequent show. We're probably in about a month. Is that this clear? Is, this is a book of the month, right? We're going to do this every month for a few months, and um, and we're going to love it. And, we're going to love it together. And those of you who don't ever read, this is your first. This is a great opportunity for you to read without actually reading with your ears. <laughs> read with your ears. Uh, I mean, if you technically wanted to buy the book. And you, they ha have a thing where you can listen to it, and then you can pick and up. And you pick up, and you read. And you read, and then if you yeah. have a Kindle type thing, or, or or the Kindle app, or whatever, it's pretty cool. Okay, I had a, uh, <coughs> I had a an experience that I want to share. Uh, I actually don't want to share it because now I'm afraid that too many people are going to go there. And it's like when you find a place, and you're like, oh man, I don't want to give a good review of this restaurant because I don't want people to go there. I don't want it to be crowded. You need to channel the spirit of Rick Steves, man. Rick Steves. Rick man. Steves keeps nothing to himself. Yeah, but he like goes like everywhere socks in the and world. Sandals. He tells a bunch of Amer uh, American people about other locations. They're never gonna end up going. What about that uh, guy who goes to Mexico and cooks? Oh, Rick Bayless. <laughs> yeah, what about him? <laughs> <laughs> that dude can cook up a storm, man. He's got a restaurant. What about that white dude who sings um, Latin music? Rick Martin. He's not, he's, he's not he's, white. Oh, he's not? Okay. I went, now my wife has been asking me to do this for a while and my parents have been in town. So she said, uh, on Sunday I want to go to the Huntington Gardens. <laughs> Huntington Gardens? Garden? Gardens? Okay, sure. And I'm like, and she, and she keeps telling me, she's told me this for upwards of a year or two, you will love this place. And I'm like, why does she think I'm gonna like a garden? I don't. She had been? Oh yeah, she's been a couple of times. She's like, you will love this place. Now first of all, my wife is very rarely wrong and she's almost always right about what she thinks I'm going to like. She's very rarely wrong, period? She's very rarely wrong, period. Wow. But she's almost always right. If she, if she says I'm gonna like something or whatever, like she can, she's a good gift giver, that kind of thing. So I was like, I don't know, I mean she says I'm gonna like this place. But it has the word gardens in it. Let me tell you, maybe, I'm probably building it up too much for you. This place is amazing, absolutely amazing. So we go there, and it's in Pasadena, and you just you're driving south in Pasadena, like in one of those really nice neighborhoods, like with the old craftsmen's home, craftsman homes, and that kind of okay, thing. Okay, yeah. And all of a sudden, you just come to this. It looks you kind of feel like you're entering a zoo. You know, like when you're going into like the Ashboro Zoo, or like all the gates. Sudden, it's just. Yeah, there's like a gate and there's like, you know, there's just, it's just like, oh, this is different. This is like wilderness area. Giraffe? You know, no giraffes. And we get up there and there's a big parking lot. There's a lot of people. And then there's like some like, you know, entryway or whatever. And very much like you're going into a zoo. That's the best way to describe it. Was there like buy a ticket kind of kiosk? Yes. So then there's like ad admission that's kind of like outdoors, but. And then, so we're trying to figure out a way, like we gotta pay for all four of us, but then we're paying for my parents too. And then Jesse, this is, she always does this. She's like, well, if we get the membership, oh, then gosh. we'll do this, this, and this. And if we do the membership, we can get my parents in free. And so I'm kind of looking around and I'm like, this place seems pretty awesome just from what I can see from here. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. And so, you are all about the membership. You get the membership for everything. Oh, no. Then I talked to the lady about what is, and it's also tax oh, deductible. Oh, she wanted you to get the membership? No. Oh. I do things like this, man. That's the, wor people, the world goes around because of people like me oh, who I actually know. spend money. I know. I'm just, but you like the idea of getting a membership, too. Oh, I love the just idea. The, just a concept of it. I'm a member of this. Mm, not necessarily that. The idea of if we go back two times, which we will go back at least two times. Okay. Um, 
it will have paid for itself. So, and I also paid for my parents' tickets. If so, you take me, do I get in free? So basically, let me just tell you what happened, okay? So there was this guy, and you know, there's Huntington Beach. I, I assume that that was named after some dude named Huntington. Well, he's one of these railroad guys that like back in the 1800s made all this money, you know? Like like the Biltmores and, and those guys. And yep. what he did is he built this mansion on these multiple acres, like lots of acres. Like you, there's no way you can see it all in a day, really. You could probably see it all in one day. And he didn't just build this house, he like built this library and he built this museum and they built this other stuff since then. And then he had these gardens. He built, and I don't know which was built by him and which was built afterwards, but there's a Japanese garden and a Chinese garden. And, I, we, and, and all this amazing stuff and like a, uh, uh, solarium, you know, with all these like all these plants, and, the, and Jesse's like the Chinese garden and the and the Japanese garden are like the thing that everybody talks about. And I'm like, okay. And we walked in. So these are just plants from Japan and from China. No, <laughs> no it's much more than that. This place <laughs> looks like there's no doubt that many, many, many movies have been shot here, and you thought that they were in Japan or China because they have created this world that is, the architecture is like an exact replica of what it would be like to walk into like a zen situation in the Far East. <laughs> are they facades or are no, they No, they're legitimate? real and you can walk into them and oh, there's wow. this, these, this huge pond that's like really like a lake and these crazy bridges that go over it and then these bamboo things and these walkways that go through it and then, they're all, then there's like a tea house in a restaurant and a, and it just keeps going and going and going. Are there a lot of people in there? Yeah, qu quite a few. But there's all these benches everywhere. I'm a member, I can go anytime I want to. <laughs> and Is your name on a bench if you become? No, but there's a lot of names on the benches. Oh, I'm sure there are. Yeah, I was thinking about just putting my name on the bench. There's something in the like, mail to you about that right now. Just printing out, uh, going to a, like a local trophy shop and getting my name put on a plaque and then putting it on a bench myself without anybody noticing. Pull a Banksy. With a little picture of me going like this. <clears throat> but anyway. Red place bench. is incredibly peaceful, just so peaceful. Even with uh, kids and in-laws? Yes. No, not in-laws, yes. her in-laws, your parents. My parents. <laughs> and they have this, like a bonsai courtyard. Where, the, bonsai, you know like, about bonsai. Yeah, like jumping off something like, bonsai! No, I don't mean that, I mean those little trees. And I you, think that's Geronimo. You think that I'm crazy for liking this? Is there people like They're not in the, in the, in the process of bonsaiing when you go in there. But they have been bon they have bonsai. I don't get but, me wrong. I'll go. But you don't have to sell. But then me. you go into the mansion and they and, he, and he's it's completely decked out with art. Like it's got some of the most famous paintings in the world. The world, like right there, you know. I did the six foot thing and, <laughs> and all that. I did all that there. People were like, that guy knows art. And <laughs> oh, uh, he's backing over me. And then there's a museum that has all these documents from the, the revolution and the, the Civil War. It's like, a, it's like a totally legit. Rich guy haven. Crazy museum, crazy out of this world garden, crazy mansion, crazy art collection. And then they have this store that Sells has like water guns all and kinds, of, well they have a little toy section, but they got, I mean I told Jesse, I was like, I wanna buy everything in this store. Like this is, this is, you know, it's got, yeah, I can't even explain. Did you get anything? It. I didn't get anything for like our office. I didn't get anything. No, but they do have like like a whole section that's these weird like things that if he had walked into Thomas Edison's laboratory, he would have had like weird stuff. Hmm. And Jesse was like, "You should get some of that for your office." But I like picked up this like little weird magnifying glass, four hundred three three hundred dollars. You know, so I was like, "Okay, well, we won't do that." But yeah. Uh, and I met a, a couple of mythical beasts there. Got a picture with somebody. Hmm. Uh, that was nice. And all this will be in the book. In, this is a chapter in uh, my book I'm writing. But it's just there. right. You earned it. It's just right there. That's the thing. When you find some place like this in the Los Angeles area, you're like, wow. This is, I'm coming back to this. Should I, should I read some of the endorsements you from y'all? Yeah. Uh, There's one from Chase Hilt, I see. Yeah, intern Chase, become a full time employee. Uh, this book is all right. That's what, yeah. That's what you, I want to totally highlight the fact that you're paid now. Thank you. You appreciate yeah, that? I do. I really like being paid. <laughs> uh, the book is all right, but I like the movie better. No. 
He yeah, said that. I heard that. him say it. That's why I wrote it here. Um, uh, here's one from the New York Times. This tell-all story of an entertainer will make you laugh, cry, and possibly vomit. Hmm. But uh, it's New York Times um, with a Y in Times. Yeah, like, yeah, like the spice. Like the spice. Every, I called them up, and that's the quote they gave me. <laughs> Um, here's a great one. Uh, Rhett's cool and all, but this book was kind of lame. Needs more dragons. It's from your wife. Oh. I love how it just says Rhett's wife. It doesn't even say her name. Right. I know her name, but I just, for anonymity. Yeah, 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 yeah. I wanted to, uh, and, uh, of course, uh, Beyonce has a better biography. That was from Kanye. Yeah, Kanye. Um, we shouldn't even have put that on the back, though. No. You know, when you approach somebody right. for a quote and they give you something like that, you shouldn't even put it. But he should, made his promise ahead of time. Should I read the uh, about the author you part should. in closing? Yeah, you should because that's you. Um, Link is the best author of all time. Uh, his one, <laughs> his one and only biography, "My Hair Goes Up," about his friend Rhett, has already gotten him a Nobel Prize for Literature, and it hasn't even been released yet. Hmm. Matter of fact, it's only a black and white cover. On a Josh Sunquist book. On a book. Josh Sunquist book. <laughs> While he is not writing books about Rhett, uh, Link enjoys frosted mini wheats and looking at pictures of miniature horses. That actually looks like the photo that would be on the back uh, of a book. If, if I were an author, like, hey, I'm happy. I, I live in Maine and I have two cats. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you yeah. know, they always say You're going to have to pull. Why does every author live in that. Maine and have two freaking cats? Come on, be more creative, authors. Live somewhere else besides Maine and have a freaking dog. Mm-hmm.